Hi guys, it's me, Pixie, your curious doll artist. I'm back with new videos after a few months of pause. It was a social media pause, but I continuously finished all projects for my customers in real life. Before starting new projects I want to make, I have a few more commissioned doll videos to show, and this one is one of them. In this video, I will create an albino character for my customer, also it's a rare occasion I wish to fix, it's a male character. In general, it was one of those commissions I prepared myself longer to make than make it. It has a lot of things that I consider out of my comfort zone. But I pretty much liked this character, so I decided to give it a try. And it was a good decision. This doll came out marvelous, and I like how I interpret the character's look into a doll. Also, I find the albino appearance very mysterious, whimsical and attractive. Its colors, vibe and look of it are otherworldly and so rare. But when I was thinking about the theme of this video script, I found that beyond appearance my knowledge of albinism is strongly limited. In this video I want to learn more and share what I learned. So let's start with the basics of albinism. Albinism is a rare genetic condition caused by gene mutation affecting melanin production. Melanin is the pigment responsible for the color of skin, hair and eyes. This condition occurs in both humans and animals and can manifest differently depending on the type of genetic mutation. Despite its rarity, albinism occurs in all ethnicities and across all continents. Most forms of albinism are inherited in what scientists call an autosomal recessive pattern. Translation: You need a copy of the gene mutation from both parents to have albinism. Albinism is not one-size-fits-all condition. There are several types, each with its own characteristics. Oculocutaneous albinism, the most common form. It affects the skin, hair and eyes. It is further divided into subtypes based on the specific genetic mutation. Ocular albinism. This type mainly affects the eyes, with minimal skin or hair pigmentation impact. hermansky pudlak syndrome. A rare form of albinism that combines typical symptoms with bleeding disorders and in some cases lung or bowel issues. chidiak higashi syndrome. Another rare variant, this form includes immune system defects and higher susceptibility to infections. So, albinism is not only about appearance, and I knew that often people with albinism have nystagmus, a condition that causes involuntarily rapid and repetitive eye movements. These movements can occur horizontally, vertically or in circular patterns, often leading to blurry or shaky vision and difficulty focusing on objects. And not only that, people with albinism often face significant vision problems, including Reduced visual acuity means that most individuals are legally blind, though many can achieve functional vision with corrective lenses or aids. They may have strabismus, which means they can have misaligned eyes, and it's also another common vision condition for people with albinism. They also may have light sensitivity or photophobia, the lack of melanin makes eyes especially sensitive to bright light. Without melanin, which acts as a natural sunscreen, people with albinism are highly susceptible to sunburn and long-term damage from UV exposure. In regions with intense sunlight, this poses significant health risks. Protective measures like high SPF sunscreen, wide-brimmed hats, sunglasses and long clothing are essential for people with albinism to protect their skin and eyes. But albinism is visually striking with characteristics that vary by type and individual. Hair color ranges from white to light blonde or light brown, depending on the amount of the residual melanin. Some individuals may develop freckles, moles or tan slightly with sun exposure. Eye color can vary from very light blue to brown, often appearing red, violet or pink in certain lighting, because blood vessels are visible through the iris. In Africa, albinism is more common in sub-Saharan Africa due to higher rates of the recessive gene in population. In some African countries, people with albinism face discrimination, violence and even ritual killings due to harmful superstitions. Body parts of people with albinism are falsely believed to bring wealth and good luck. In Asia, albinism is recognized and sometimes misunderstood as a divine trait in rural areas, but individuals might still face societal prejudice. In Japan, the concept of shirogane or white-haired individuals historically attributed spiritual significance to those with albinism. But as mentioned, it's not only about humans. In Thailand, the albino tiger, a rare mutation of Bengal tiger, is a symbol of strength and beauty. Albino animals, including albino peacocks and albino elephants, are considered sacred in many Southeast Asian cultures. 
from white peacocks, which this particular character actually is, to pink dolphins, albino animals are often considered rare and mystical. However, their lack of camouflage makes survival in the wild more difficult. The albino peacock is one of the nature's most striking and rare animals, admired for its ethereal beauty. These birds are often mistaken for white peacocks, and there is a difference. Albino peacocks have a genetic mutation that inhibits melanin production entirely. Their white feathers, pinkish skin and pale eyes with a red or pink hue are hallmarks of albinism. And white peacock. These are not albino, but rather a color morph, resulting from a genetic trait called leucism. Unlike albinos, leucistic birds retain normal eye coloration and may have faint pigmentation patterns. Albino peacocks are often seen as a symbol of purity, grace and rarity. In many cultures, they are regarded as omens of good luck or divine favor. Their appearance in myths and art represents beauty, spirituality and enlightenment. The peacock in general is associated with immortality and renewal in various traditions and the albino variant adds an ethereal quality to these associations. Albinism is considered to be rare worldwide, though its prevalence varies depending on the region and specific type of albinism. The worldwide incidence of albinism is estimated at 1 in 20,000 individuals globally, on average. There is no cure for albinism. However, there are several ways to manage the condition and address the associated health concerns. These treatments focus primarily on improving vision, protecting skin from damage and similar. In art and fantasy settings, albinism often symbolizes purity, rarity and mysticism. But albinism has evolved from being an exotic curiosity to a powerful identity. Through various artistic mediums, albinism fosters a deeper understanding of human differences. And so and so, we are coming to an end of this video. And I know there are still many things to tell about albinism, but that's it. I hope you enjoyed watching me create this albino peacock character for my customer and got some insights into how albinism works. Because for me there was plenty of new information. I knew some of it, but some facts just made me think about the nature of people with such appearance more. And I think it's not easy to be one. Yes, such an appearance is one of the most distinguishable and always catches the eye of the passerby. But also it means a lot of life challenges such people have to deal with daily. This uniqueness is still beautiful and I'm glad that I had put my hands on the character with such feature. And I thank my customer for this order. Thank you. And I hope this guy found his cozy place on your shelf. Somewhere out of reach of direct sunlight. Because direct UV light is not only harmful to albinos, but also to sealants that are used in doll customs. A quick reminder that I have Patreon now and I will be happy to see you there. Also, a small announcement that I have a big restock of my Etsy shop with custom doll hats of various kinds for your projects. And if you want to buy some of it with a discount, contact me on my Instagram. There are still 4 commissioned doll videos left, so stay tuned. And since it is the end of this video, I wish you guys to have a great and warm day. Use sunscreen to protect your skin, even if you are not an albino. And see you soon in my next videos. Bye!